Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Techno, and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. And it has been a long time since I said that. Last time, um, we got further in this world, and this level gave us so much trouble. I remember going from 99 lives to 75 lives, and it was just the last star coin, and it was failing us so many times. Now, it has been a long time since this Let's Play has been updated because Super Smash Bros. for Wii U has been released. Um, I'm still not done with that Let's Play, I know, I'm very slow in uploading. But, um, I kind of want to take a little break from Smash Bros., especially since I'm doing the events currently and that's going to take a while. So I thought I should revive this Let's Play. And so yeah, we're going to finally finish this Let's Play, and I am going to finish this, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, so with that, let's just continue on with this world. Um... I believe if we go down here, yes, if we go down here and hit this blue switch, we will be able to go into the mushroom house. So let's do that. And as far as, and if I'm aware, yes, we lost pretty much every one of our items trying to get this last star coin. I remember that much. I have not played Mario U since the last time I recorded an episode, but I remember that level giving me so much trouble with that last star coin. Jesus. Um, let's see. We need to watch the mushroom and star. Should not really be hard at all. Uh, is it? I'm pretty sure it's the last two. Yeah, I really hope it is. Ah, oh, it was the first and last. Well, at least I thank God I got the last one first because, you know, if I got the second and last one first, uh, I would have got nothing. But hey, at least I got a star, and that'd be really good for Nabbit. So that's good. Anyways, with that done, uh, let's move on. Well, actually, let me hit the red switch quickly just so I can kind of, uh, do this epic of the level. Let's do the castle of this world. Roy's Conveyor Castle. And I really like this castle a lot, and the boss battle in it is really good as well. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure in the last episode, also, we have to hurry for this last star coin, for this, uh, first star coin. Uh, what we have to do is we have to let this drop and then hurry up and run over here. If you do not hurry up and run over here, this will drop and you'll lose your chance of getting the star coin. Just pointing that out quickly. But, uh, I'm pretty sure when I was actually doing this Let's Play, I mentioned that, uh, this, the last star coin, the only way for you to get it is if you go into the secret exits of it. Because there's a secret exit in the back, in, in where you have to hit a certain, and where you hit the red switch and it'll kind of go back into, it'll lead to the back of the castle. And that will get you the last star coin, and that's the only way for you to get it. So you have to play this level two times in order to get all the star coins. Um, which is a little weird, but pretty cool, I guess. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are we have to play this level twice then. But, uh, that should be fine. Let's duck here so we don't get crushed. Um, now the second star coin is actually in this pipe right up here. So make sure you go in here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and we have to hurry as well, because... Just like last time, if this thing falls, you will miss your chance of getting the star coin. I'm not sure if you re-go into the pipe, it'll disappear. I'm not sure about that. I'm guessing not, so be sure you do on the first try. Actually, let's test that out quickly. I'm curious to see if we'll even have a second chance at this. Oh, we will. Okay, so if you miss it, you can still go back in the pipe, so it's not that big of a deal. Never mind. I guess this isn't like most games in where if that happens, you know, tough luck. So I guess it's not that cruel. But yeah, we pretty much got all the star coins we can get because the last star coin we have to get at the back of the castle. So we're pretty much good at this point. So the only thing now we have to do now is defeat Roy. Also, I didn't get the eight red coins, but that's fine. Midpoint. Yeah, it really is smooth sailing from here. Also, geez, I am not using these controls. Um, if you haven't know, if you didn't know, I've actually been playing Super Mario 3D World lately. I just recently bought it for the first time, and I've been playing that game a lot. So it has a pretty different construction. Uh, d pretty different control scheme, so I haven't been used to it. Well. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing Super Mario 3D World, which is an amazing game, by the way. It really is shaping up to be my favorite Mario game of all time, actually. I mean, I Galaxy was my, it's my favorite Mario game, but I did not think any anything could beat it. 3D World's really beating it, man. Like, it really is a great game. Um, I can, I actually want, really want to let's play 3D World as well, but time will have to come, you know, I have to, you, you know, I have to wait before I do it, because I have other let's plays in my before that, so, you know, yeah. Uh, but enough that, enough about 3D World, this is, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Also, the back of the castle is over here, in case you're wondering, there's no way to go back there unless you go into the back of the castle, so, yeah, I, even if you, even if you didn't know about it, this is kind of, a uh, 
spoiler to it, so you can be like, oh, you know, what's back here? It's the back of the castle, so make sure you go back there, kind of thing, you know? So that's pretty cool. Now it's time to fight Roy, my second favorite Koopling, actually. Uh, I, I believe I said Iggy was my favorite, Roy is my second favorite, and this boss battle is really cool, so I cannot wait to show it off. It, it, it actually is pretty difficult. I remember when I first played this, I had a bit of, of a trouble with it, so... Uh, it can actually be challenging. Like I said, um, since Iggy, you know, Iggy, Roy, and Lutwig, those are the three Koopaling, the last three Koopaling you fight, are actually pretty challenging in their own right. So I'm actually really happy that they kind of um, made the boss battles a little more difficult. Now, I still think, I do think Iggy's a little harder than Roy, which is, you know, a little bit of shame because the later world should be harder, and that's not the case in this way, but he can get a little difficult. Okay, I just hit him right there <laughs> completely. Uh, unintentionally, but hey, that's cool. And... Okay, trust me when I say this, it was a lot harder than that when I first played it. I made it seem really easy. Basically, his method of attack is shooting off bullet bills, I'm pretty sure. And it's pretty hard to dodge, especially, and it's pretty hard to go at him and hit him. But as you can see there, that was really easy. So that's not really a good representation of how hard he actually is. I mean, he's not, he's not that hard, but he's harder than the other Koopalings, that's for sure. Other than Iggy and Lutwig, which Lutwig we haven't fought yet. But yeah, he, he can be difficult, but that, man, I wrecked him. I cannot believe I did it that easily. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the castle, and let's save. Uh, however, we're not doing this world yet, because like I said, we have to go in the back of the castle. Uh, the kind of review here. Um, in order to go, in order to go to the back of the castle, you need to get the secret exit in this level. I'm pretty sure, which will lead to this, which will make you hit the red button, and then you can go back to the castle and get the last star coin. Now, I'm when, after I get the last star coin, I'm not gonna fight Roy again since I already fought him, and it's gonna be kind of um, redundant to fight him again. So once I get the last star coin, I will just skip to when I win, and that was just a complete and utter fail. Oh my god. What happened is once I hit that um, moving platform, I jumped and my momentum made me move left. Jeez, oh, that that was bad. Let's try that again. I meant to do that, obviously. Man, that was a waste. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you have to be quick here because just like every... Wow, I just realized every star coin in this level, you have to make sure that it does not get crushed because as you can see... uh. Okay, third time's the charm. Uh, every star coin in this level, it seems like, um, if you do not get the star coin fast enough, it will get crushed by the block, and you will not be able to get it. So, that is really interesting. I did not notice that before. That's really cool, actually. So, all three star coins, you have to hurry up before your path is blocked forever. Okay, so let's stand here this time. I did not think it would crush. See, right there. That would have blocked your path, and you would have been screwed. All three star coins act that way, and that's kind of cool. Um... And now it's time to fight Roy again. Like I said, I'm not going to uh, show this again. So I will skip until I beat Roy again. So uh, see you guys until then. And with that, I beat Roy. I actually almost died at the end there. That would have been really sad if that happened. But I managed to beat Roy. Like I said, an easy boss fight apparently. I swear, the first time I fought him, I could have sworn this was difficult for me, but I guess it's not difficult, so, hey, maybe I'm more of an experienced player now. Also, we got all the star coin in this world. That's cool. And, uh, let's save and move on to the next world, the seventh world of this game. Moraine Clouds. Obviously, this is a sky world. Pretty cool. This world is really fun as well. Um, I gotta say, I really like the levels in this world. I do think um, Soda Jungle and Rock Candy Mines are my favorite worlds in the game, though. But this is definitely a, a contender for being one of my favorites as well. It's a really cool world, basically. Uh, so let's m move on to the first level of this world. Land of li uh, Flying Blocks. I said living for some reason. Yeah, Land of Flying Blocks. Oh, I was probably thinking of Land of Living Dead from Rayman Origins. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it looks like the designated power for the is acorns, uh, obviously because of the squirrels, you would assume that, and, uh, okay, where is the power-up? That's a little weird, they're kind of giving us this power-up late. Okay, there it is, yep, acorn. That's a little weird, that's like the first time, uh, they kind of gave us this power-up late. Normally, they give it to us, like, right in the beginning, like, the first block is it, but 
it looks like this time it, they kind of waited a little bit for whatever reason. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just interesting. Also, we got a spring. I don't think I need it. Yeah, I don't. Um, up here, I... Okay, that's probably why they gave us a spring, because I wasted my acorn that way. Uh, the first star coin's in this pipe. You may have saw the star coin to the right there. That was the second one, and don't worry, after this we'll get dropped off right on near the second one. But the first one's here. Make sure you don't miss it, because you can easily miss it. And then once you get this star coin, you will realize that... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, thank you, platform. Oh, my God. That platform saved me. Man, if that platform... Oh. If that platform did not exist, that I would have been screwed. But, uh, that's fine. Oh, thank God, midpoint, man. You have saved my life. Uh, and the last star coin should be coming up soon. I, I think. Um... Oh, right. Um, no, 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 no. I don't think it's in another pipe. I was about to say, like, oh, I can acorn up here. But I don't think the star coin's there, so don't even try it. I don't even know if there anything's up there, but I'm pretty positive there's nothing up there. So, uh, don't even attempt it because you're just gonna kill yourself. Uh, let's grab an acorn. Ah, oh, like I said, I've been playing Super Mario 3D World a lot. Also, yeah, the last star coin's over here. I've been playing Super Mario 3D World a lot, so I thought the acorn would kind of go to the bottom left so you, for me to use it later. Man, 3D World's such a great game. Oh, I cannot wait to let's play one of these days. Oh, jeez. Bunch of giant piranha plants. Did not get me, though. It's not that hard to avoid, I guess. And now let's finish off the level. Alright, sorry for the cut there. I had a minor interruption. But uh, let's finish the level. Of course, I have an interruption right when I'm about to finish the level. That is just typical of me. Uh, but yeah, easy one up there. And that's about it. And I'm really upset that the last episode I lost all those one-ups. I, I, I'm mean, all those lives. I remember that too, man. I went from 99 to 75 just for that last dark coin. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to kind of bring that back up. Um, I guess let's go to the mushroom house next because I need some power-ups because I ran out of all of them in that last episode. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get the fire flower and times two. Okay, I'll focus on the flower and then the mushroom. The times number I'll try to focus on, but I won't promise anything. Okay, this one. Okay, sure, I'll put this in here. I don't even know if... I thought I threw you already. I don't know if that's times two, but we'll see. Oh, I, I am the luckiest person alive right now. Oh my god, that is just... Wow, okay, I'll I'll take it. I got a times two flower without even doing it. Like, without even, it wasn't even intentional, but hey, I got times two. Uh, now, the next level is the left side, which is Seesaw Shrooms. Let's go. And I guess the name kind of lives up to it, Seesaw Shrooms. I think I kind of butchered that name, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to keep the acorn suit. It looks like the designated power for this is... <gasps> Yoshi! Well, yes, that's... Yoshi is the designated power for it. But I was... Talking about the fire flower. Did I seriously get, forget how to use Yoshi there? I swear, I pressed the button. Or unless it's the wrong one. I don't remember how to use... Man, playing 3D World really screwed me up here. I seriously forgot... That is two pointless deaths right there. Oh my god. Yeah, I seriously kind of forgot how to play this game, to be honest with you, because of 3D World. But man, I, this should not be happening to me. One up. Okay. Let's not fail this time. Let's get the power up. Let's grab it. Thank you. And now, how the hell do I use Yoshi again? Because for some reason I forgot. I pressed the button! No, I should have I should have been able to jump. Why didn't I not jump? This is the case of me not practicing this game before doing an episode on it. Wow. Okay, one more time from the top. Please don't not make me die again because like this is a little ridiculous. Like, this is my own fault right now. And please get the box. Please, Mario. Thank you. Uh, let's grab the mushroom. 
And yet again, let's grab Yoshi and get the damn first scar find. Though I kind of want to see something. How do I jump off of Yoshi again? Okay, that's how I jump off of Yoshi. Just kind of make sure if I fail again, I can jump off of Yoshi. Because I kind of forgot how to jump off of him. Because, like I said, it's been a while since I played the game. Okay, that's more like it. Why didn't I do that originally? Yeah, you need Yoshi to go here. Because if not, like, I would be, obviously you'd be like, Oh, you don't need Yoshi. I can just ground pound here. But you can't because these blocks are not poundable. So you need Yoshi in order to do this. So make sure you actually do it. Uh, oh, Paragoomba, I have not seen you in ages, unless I saw you in this game already, and I never realized it. Also, I just lost my Yoshi. Yay. Unless Yoshi's in here, I kind of doubt it. Nope, that's a mushroom. I mean, hey, that's useful, I guess. Right, and the spins in this game and not 3D World. I guess this game has that over 3D World. Is that the spins in this game? Pretty cool. I gotta stop talking about 3D World. This is not a 3D World Let's Play. This is a new Smart Brothers U Let's Play. Oh, we need Lagatu. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. The, one of the Star Coins, uh, I'm pretty sure it's right here, actually. The Star Coins right up here. Sorry, Yoshi. Yep, the Star Coins right here. Honestly, I'd rather get the Star Coin of Lagatu than try to save Yoshi and lose the cloud, so... Sorry, Yoshi. If I see the next... If I see a next question mark block, I'm just gonna go and grab it, because most likely it contains Yoshi. Or I can do it now. Oh, my God! Please tell me I got a midpoint. Please, because... If I have to do it all over again... Okay, thank god I got a midpoint. Okay, so that's not that bad. I just had to redo that, but... Nah, big deal, I guess. Oh, and in 3D World, you start off big, but in this game, you don't... Ugh. I just said I'm not gonna talk about 3D World. Stop it. Jeez. But 3D World's so good, though. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna kind of... Actually, no, Yoshi was is like an extra hit. I'll take Yoshi. Oh, actually, I can just do that. Okay, that's perfect. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do it originally, but hey, I did it now, so that's good. Me and Yoshi on a cloud. Good times, even though it just happened. Okay. Art, really? You know, this is sad. This is really sad. Like, this isn't even hard. Well, like I said, this is what I get for not playing this game since I lasted the episode, which is back in 2014, and that goddamn Lakitu sniped me with his spiny. Oh. Uh, how many lives do I have now? 70? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. I'm not gonna die anymore. Yeah. Oh, I almost died right there. Thank you, spin jump, because you just saved my life right there. Yoshi, please save me. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm not gonna take the cloud of me this time, because for some reason, every time, the cloud kills me, and that's really ridiculous. There we go, God. No more clouds, I'm just gonna stick with Yoshi, because Yoshi can jump on these things, and I'm pretty sure one of the Star Coins requires you to jump on these black things in order to progress, so I'm gonna just stick with this. Yeah, right there, that pipe up there is the last Star Coin. You have to jump on these black things in order to get it, so make sure you do. Okay, I need to time this correctly. There we go, not hard at all. Of course, if you mess up and you lose Yoshi, you're done for, but yeah, it's not that hard. There we go, and that's the last star coin. I don't know why I died multiple times in this level. It really is um, me not getting used to, to this game again. I'm not even gonna like go until that thing goes, until just in case I die again. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Completed the level, got a one up because of the top of the flagpole. And there we go, man. Uh, I'm not even gonna be able to do the mid castle in this world because it's taking so, for me so long to do this. Oh well, I guess this is a pretty good way to get back into this Let's Play, though. Failing! Yay! Well, uh, I guess for the la for the end of this episode, let's do this final level. Uh, see, Switchback Hill. Let's go. I have 71 lives. Will I lose any more? Probably. Oh, I remember this level. This is actually a pretty unique level. Um, it revolves all around the beast Switch. Backs, I guess. I don't know what the fish name. I'm guessing switchbacks since that's what the level's called. Uh, obviously, the first star coin's over here. Um, 
pretty easy to get. Actually, yep, bullet bill. That's probably why it was a little difficult. But all you really have to do is jump. It's not that hard. Uh, anyways, let's get this. Is this another ice flower? Yes, it is. Um... This goes right. So obviously the gimmick of this is just going left and right accordingly. Um, actually, this is, I believe there's something down here. Oh, it's just a power-up. Ooh, ice, uh, ice flower. A star man is... Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't need a star man anyways. And that's a little ridiculous, but whatever. Um, let's just move on, I guess. Sucks I didn't get the star man, but what are you gonna do, right? And I completely missed that jump. Luckily, I didn't die from it. Uh, over here is a pipe that is probably contains the second star coin. And I am right. Of course I am. I'm always right. For the most part. Looks like this is fairly easy to get. The only downside is you can kind of get hit by the bullet bills, but really not that hard at all. Uh, now let's move on and get the last Dark Queen and finish up this level and episode. I really don't know how long this episode is because, um, yeah, I would say 25 minutes is like a good length. I'm guessing it's around 25 minutes because, uh, there was some small interruptions in between. So I would say that, uh, it should be around 25 minutes. Plus, there has to be something down here, right? I guess it's not too important. It's just a way to get more coins. I'm not going to kill myself by getting that, even though I don't need it. This pound block looks very, uh... Okay, hold on. Where's the Y button? Just want to do this right. I'm not going to fuck this up. I don't care that I lost my ice flower, but because I am not going to fuck this up. Now run! Yep, this star coin you have to chase down because eventually it's going to fall, and if you're not under it, you will lose it forever. Of course, you can try to jump up there if you had, like, an acorn or a second person helping you, but because I don't have that, that's going to be a little dangerous. Okay, well, I got it anyways. Um, eventually, Lee, 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 oh my god, I did it. <laughs> Jeez, that, that was close. Um, eventually what would happen is that that platform would actually fall, which would cause the star coin to fall. And, uh, basically it would fall into the platform that I, that was going down, and if you didn't, I didn't get the top of the flagpole. And if you didn't make it, basically, the coin would have hit the platform, and the platform would have fell because the coin weighed it down, and then the coin would have disappeared. So, make sure you're quick enough to actually get to the platform so when the coin falls you can grab it. Or you can do what I did and just jump up there and grab the coin from there. So, either way works, um, but that's about it. Got all three star coins in this level. And with that... That will be it for this episode because the recording time is currently 28 minutes and I'm guessing, um, subtracting the in the in interruptions, it's probably around 25 minutes and that's a good length for this ep for, for an episode. So, yeah, with that, I've been Jeremy Techno and in the next episode, we will do the mid-castle of this world, slide the lift tower, and move on with this world. So, yeah, see you guys then.